Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. International showdown here tonight. Does the environment change when you're playing nationally as opposed to a club? 100% it does, because it's a little bit different. You're not usually with regular teammates, so everything feels a little bit different, but you are playing for your country. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Throws it in. Back to the point it goes. Austria's got possession of the puck. Maintains possession. Puck picked up by Wolf. And that's off a stick. Austria's got the puck in the defensive end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Team France has got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck along the half wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Play developed. It's a two-on-one. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Austria's got it in the offensive zone. Team France has got the puck in their own end. Austria's got a hold of it along the wall. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. He scores! Off the defender and into the net! This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Team France's hard work in this opening period pays off. Uh, right when the anthem finished, these guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Quick pass to Schneider. Intercepted the pass. Oh, no way to brace yourself for that hit. France has got the puck in the corner. Nice feed from the right wing. Great reach with the poke check. And he takes a shot. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. Ah, uh, the old standby, low stick. The goalie beaten clean here. He can't catch it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Denies him! He got all of it! And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. He's starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Takes the feed. Unleashes a cannon! Makes it look easy with the stop. Moves the puck. Denies him on the play! He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. Quick shot! Stops a cold! Takes the feed at the back end. Save made by the goalie! Great cross-ice pass. Dumps it in. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And that's knocked away. Slammed into the wall. 
Team France has got it in their own zone. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Taken by Wolf. And they keep the pressure on. Team Austria is looking to break out. Moves it to Rossi. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that one's broken up. France has got it along the wall. That goes off a twig. Sends a pass over. Austria is moving it along the wing. Team France has got control of it now from their own end. Handles the puck. On the attack along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. And it comes up with the save. It's official. Period number one is in the books. Limited edition team prints are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Second period set to get underway. Been a fun one so far, neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Team France's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover-prone first period. And that's just out of reach. Austria's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. There's a hit on the play. Team France has got it in their own zone. And here's the pass to Leclerc. Dumps it in. Austria's got the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Tries to feed it over to Rafa. Takes the feed. And he slides it quickly to Rafa. Here he is from the slot. Uh-uh, that's blocked away. Into the attacking area from the left side. Team Austria's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes over to Schneider. Austria's got the puck against the boards. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Hey, we get a look on the highlight here. That's a really nice blocker stop, but what a scoring chance. In good position, just beaten by the goalie. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Raffles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Team France has got a hold of the puck. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Fails to find the open man. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck over to Raffle. Off target. France has got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed from the wing. Kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Some good stick work to force that turnover. France has got a hold of it against the wall. Austria is looking to break out of their own end. With possession along the wall. Denies them in close. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. That's a pretty good scoring chance that's turned aside. Hey, the shooter is going to have to do better against the goaltender that is so positionally sound here. That's got to be a crisper shot. Late goings of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a shot, and that goes off a player. 
And serves up a little knock on the play. Slides into Abreu. Here's a short pass to Bertrand. Slides the puck over. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Bertrand. Puck fired in deep, and they'll go for a change. Team France has got possession here in the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. And after that save, the puck skips out of play, and we'll get a face-off. Centers are set, face-off ready to resume play. Austria's got a hold of the puck. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. And he says no! Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. It's been a fun one so far, all tied up as we are now underway here in the third period. Denies the shooter on that play. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Moves it up through the middle from the right. has got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. And he totally whiffs on that one. France has got the puck. Team France has got the puck against the half wall. Turns it aside with a glove. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. When they look at this on the video, James, the shooter's gonna see that shot's not in a good enough position against a goalie this good. It's gotta be better than that. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Texier's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Hammers one! Standing tall with the save! Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Austria's got it in their own zone. Nice pass. Oh, what a stop! France is on the attack. Great read with the stick. Moves it around along the half wall. Look out! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looked straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie, but the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Quick feed to Raffle. Receives the pass. France has got control of it now here in the offensive end. And they won't connect on that one. This is the most fun time of a hockey game. When every play is so important, the game is tight, everything is on the line, and your decisions and execution is what's going to make the difference. France is looking to break out. Takes a hit on the play. Takes the pass. They've got a three on one. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. France has got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Moves the puck. Austria. 
Landry is on the attack. And he comes up with it. Elects to play the puck. France is moving it into the offensive end. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. The arms up, dares the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. France has got a big opportunity on the power play here. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're gonna make changes. Quick pass to Leclerc. And that's broken up. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Texier is ready to take the draw here on this power play. Team France has got a hold of the puck off the draw. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Texier is swooping in on the attack. Snaps one from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Gets it out of his own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. Austria is ready to go on the attack. Grabs the puck at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Trying to clear the puck. Big defensive play on that clear. That puck's got to get out especially late. He does a nice job here. Slides it over to Bertrand. Here's a chance, and a great save. Team France's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Sometimes a power play is more critical than others. Lots of pressure on that five-man group. They didn't get it done, though. They miss it a really important time. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. From the point, and comes up empty. He grabs the puck here at the point. That pass doesn't go. Rocks him on the play. Things start to get a little physical out there and makes the routine save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Wow, he's dialed in right now. That is an enormous save at this time of the game. A critical draw here. France has won the draw. Team Austria is playing it through the neutral zone. Austria's got the puck along the wall. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! Back to the blue line. Too much congestion in front. Takes the return feed. France has got it in their own zone. Handles the pass from the right side. Shuts him down. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. Overtime's coming up in just a matter of moments. We'll be back right after this break. Time is set to get underway. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Time to boogie. Puck is dropped on overtime. Let's find out if there's any heroes out there. And that's intercepted. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. France has got the puck along the boards. Team France is ready to go on the attack. From point blank range. No for the win. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. 
Rossi's won the faceoff. Here they come on the attack. And he easily stops that one. Austria's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and he whiffs on it. That pass goes a little sideways. Moves it to Rossi. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Can't find his man. Steps out behind the net to play the puck. And now he angles it across to Rossi. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Makes a move in front. He wins it! He wins it! He wins it in overtime! Still got a feeling the fans are buzzing after this one here. Well, they enjoyed the great game to begin with, and then there's extra bonus hockey in the form of overtime. What an amazing way to end this game. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.